Hey guys, what's good? Um, I haven't posted a video in a while, but um, I've noticed I've been getting a lot more subscribers because uh, of a few of my videos. I think one for the uh, Derrick Rose Common video that I posted a while back, and then uh, recently I uh, posted a video about my LeBron Galaxy experience and. I've been getting a lot of new uh, shoe followers based on, or subscribers based on that, so I just want to say thanks to you guys. Um, it's been a while since I've posted anything because I haven't really bought any new shoes. Um, but in, in the meantime, I've been kind of seeing what's going on with the sneaker game. Uh, some good things, some bad things, so I'll just kind of go through that kind of quickly. Um, number one, in terms of uh, the good things, uh, I've got some old shoes, for example, like uh, ones I'm wearing right now. Um, the questions I got these uh, six years ago now, and uh, these I got about the same time period. Forest Green 14s, um, and I've noticed that uh, these shoes, like. Even right after I got them, a year or two after I got them, I never really got that many compliments and never really wore them like the questions I was using as lawn mowing shoes and uh, cleaned them up a little bit. And now, like, people notice them. Like, I'll, I'll get compliments like, dang, you got those OGs, you got those OG questions on, you got those OG four screens. Like, and I have never experienced that in my whole life owning shoes until honestly the past few months um, but the downside is I was on eBay and these shoes got them dead stock dead stock Azure uh, size 12 and got these literally probably last summer and well right before last summer so basically exactly a year ago got these no lie no lie $39.99 free shipping. So in total, less than $40 for a dead stock pair of uh, Azure Low Top 11s. And I went on eBay today and I'll post the screenshots, but uh, I saw a pair of the questions that I've got on right now um, in new condition for almost $200 with less than two days left or with around two days left, I believe. And then the Azures saw them in similar sizes, one pair for $132 with days to go, multiple bids, and another pair for almost $100 with days to go. And there was, there was probably 20, 30 pairs on eBay when I got mine, and there were some buy it nows that were around 100 but nobody was bidding these shoes up. Now, like, I go and look for OG anything, and the price now versus last year is just on a different level. And uh, that's really been something that's pretty disappointing to me. But um, another thing I just want to say, I've still been playing basketball in my Jordan 11 low uh, black and reds which I saw a pair of those on eBay for $163 uh, with multiple bids in my size. And I got those uh, this summer, this, yeah, I want to say this past summer for uh, uh, 120 somewhere around 120 brand new. And they are, they've been holding up really good <clears throat> in terms of uh, basketball shoes good quality, haven't fallen apart yet, anything like that, but <clears throat> haven't bought any Nike since the whole LeBron fiasco, and uh, I've been keeping up with my boy Crispy Coyle, uh, he's honestly got one of the best YouTube channels, hand, hands down when it comes to sneakers, uh, funny, funny dude, um, but he's been hyping New Balances the past couple of videos I've been watching, so, and I didn't realize they did a custom thing, all made in America, all handmade, um, sent, sent them an email, got that 10% discount, um, so you can get a pair of custom New Balances 
I'll probably show a screenshot of the New Balances I want to get too for $115, 10%, that's like 100 bucks. So it's a really great shoe. You're, you're actually supporting the American economy too at the same time, which uh, the way the economy is going right now, that's pretty, pretty uh, good. I want to do that as much as possible. But um, this is going to be my first pair of New Balances, and if they're everything I've been told, I may, I may never buy Nikes again, who knows, but depending on the way things are going right now, I don't really, I've been hating on Nike recently, uh, unless they turn it around sometime soon, I may have to make that full switch, but that's just a couple of things I've noticed lately. And uh, in addition to that, um, some funny stuff I've seen. This kind of off topic, but if you get a chance, uh, and it's crazy because this guy's um, tag name for YouTube is Shoe Nice, S H O E Nice, and this guy <laughs> has like 300 videos, 300 videos, eating the most disgusting stuff I've ever seen. For example, he ate, and I, I had seen some videos a long time ago, like probably about four or five months ago and didn't think anything of it, but then I was going through his videos today, he eats a roll of scotch tape, he eats two habaneros and then uh, guzzles it down with a tube of Icy Hot, um, he ate a roll of toilet paper, <laughs> just the most ridiculous stuff I have ever seen in my life. And, uh, real, real funny. I don't know if something's wrong with this guy mentally, but if you get a chance, check out his page. And the comments are almost as good as the uh, videos, but that's it uh, on the updates. Hopefully, if I get any new shoes, if I, if I end up getting those new balances, uh, if they come in sometime soon, I'll post a review of those, let you, let you guys know what I think. But in the meantime, thanks for the subscriptions, and I will try to update a little bit more frequently. Alright, thanks guys. Peace.